workers on AM technologies that represent a step forward in product development, then I would say ceramic 3D printing is gaining momentum at a fast pace. For instance, Litros, a ceramic 3D printing company, is introducing at Fall Next a process called laser-induced sleep casting technology. What's interesting about this technology is, is the fact that the 3D printer can fabricate parts using industrial water-based suspensions with low organic binder contents. And there are two things that I like about the 3D printer. The first one is that the debinding process has been simplified to enable wall thicknesses. And the second thing is that uh, green parts obtained at the end of, of the process are easily machinable, making it easy for manufacturers to reintroduce them into the traditional process ceramic chains. Another thing that might raise manufacturers interest in this technology is the ability to process dark ceramics. So Martin, why dark ceramics were complex to process before in AM and what type of applications do they enable? So the challenge with dark ceramic materials, especially in the context of lithographic uh, AM technologies, is the high light absorption, which makes them very difficult to cure and solidify. This is uh, why we investigated this new technology, the laser induced slip casting, or LIS as we call it, which uh, only uses uh, the thermal energy that is incorporated by a light source, in this case a laser. And uh, this enables us also to make very uh, um, highly filled uh, green parts also from uh, dark ceramic materials like for example silicon carbide or also ultra high temperature ceramics which are uh, very interesting materials kind of hot topics for many high-end applications like for example uh, aerospace uh, because of the high temperatures that they can uh, sustain so uh, possible designs for this new technology is, is, is still uh, a lot uh, of, of developer here. At the moment we are focusing, uh, as said, on larger structures, for example, uh, cones, sheet, uh, shields uh, from different ceramics, for example, silicon carbide, but ne not necessarily limited to these materials. So we, Plitos, thoroughly believe that uh, this new addition to our technology portfolio will significantly broaden the application areas for ceramic AM and will really be uh, playing a crucial role in the future of ceramic 3D printing. Thank you very much, Martin. You're welcome. Stay tuned for the next key takeaway of the show.